The widget that we have here, uh, it has a name of, um, let me find it for you, Blur, Blur widget. Okay, let's drop it over here, right? So we do have this widget. Let's try to drop column inside of the widget. We can do it. And we need to write, okay, arrived, one stop in CPH, Stockholm, San Francisco. So what do we have here? Can you guess? So we have a uh, main widget is column, like a parent widget here. And to this column, uh, we need to put two widgets that are uh, located inside like horizontally, that are horizontal, two widgets, text widget and, and text widget. So what do we do? We click here and paste a row inside of this column so what we have right, right now, we have a uh, child widget inside. So into this row, we need two children widgets. One of them is text and of course another is text. Okay. And inside the row, we change the main X alignment to space between. Okay. Let's change the colors of these texts and let's see what's happening. Okay. So we see that we don't see. We see that we don't see a text. That's cool, that's cool, no worries. Uh, we can change it, just a moment. So we take the blur widget and there is a back drop. We turn it on and now we see the text. All right, let's change it. The text itself arrived. And another one is one stop in cph one stop in cph okay so uh, another problem that we need to use this blur we need to give him more um, like height more height uh, but if we take blur widget you see that we cannot give any height. All we can change is border radius. Let's change the border radius to 12. That's cool. The blur widget, it will increase its height uh, depending on how many widgets the column has. For example, let's paste here another row. Why? Because we have Stockholm and San Francisco. They're horizontal inside of this row. Uh, or we can delete the row and just copy and paste this row. So by, by pressing Command D or if you're a Windows user, you click on Control D. So we have Stockholm, San Francisco, right? So the slide is from Stockholm and to San Francisco great all right and then we have a r n an icon of a plane and s f o so what do we do yep we can do the same thing we can just duplicate this row increase the height of the font to 24 and font weight is going to be extra bold for both one so i'm going to just duplicate this one so R A R what's A R N A R N and S F O so we need to add icon and in uh, widget tree you can change you can move your icon you can move any widgets in the widget tree so let's change the color of the icon and let's change the icon itself like uh, let's see plane if we can find yep here it is cool i think we need to increase the text here the size of the text to 36 and that one also 36 and i'd like to change to roboto both of them cool and then we have time date that's coming and time yes we're gonna just duplicate the row ok 
Okay, let's take this row and move it up over here. So if you wait until this color is going to become uh, blue and drop it here, the row will go will stay inside of a column. But if you want this row to be inside of this row, you have to drop it when it's orange. So let, let's, let me show you. So I'm going to hold click on this row, right? And I'm going to drop it inside the row. If I'm going to wait until it's, it's going to become blue like this, it's going to go inside the column. All right. So I need to be, I need this to be here. All right. So here uh, we take this text, write a comma just copy this text here and paste it here and this one 2200 all right so and then we have pick up my back button all right so I'm just going to put a button inside of this blur. Make it like this. And the first problem that we have, I mean, it's not like a problem. You can keep it this way, depending on your design. If I put an icon inside this button, so it's like, what do you have there? An arrow to the right. Look where the icon is and the problem that I cannot move this icon over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a container inside of this column, change the height to 48 of the column, border radius. I'm going to turn off this lock so I can like set the border radius to each side individually. And then I'm going to put inside of this container a row and text inside the row and make the text black. Uh, okay. huh. This is very strange that I don't see the text of the problem. This is uh, like a very strange. Let's take, let's see what apply clip. Hmm. You see, right? Like what's happening. How do we like solve it? Seriously guys, I don't know why it is working this way. Uh, Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this blur and wrap it with the container give to the container uh, like transparency and delete the height of the container done and give the board radius 12 to the container deleting the height right so let's see if we play with that one not nope. mm -hmm. okay so let's just skip this part i know i know guys uh we're gonna do it in a different way we put a button inside here by the way just i'm gonna show you something right now again because maybe you have missed it so you see what we have here, right? We have, where is that blur? If I double click on the blur or right click on the blur, I can wrap widget. So I'm gonna, uh, the parent widget is gonna be like my cart or my container, whatever you want. I'm gonna choose cart. It's like, it's, it's fine to use cart. And I'm gonna change the transparency to something like 30%. That's cool. 
border radius 12 and elevation I'm gonna put zero because elevation gives you um, a shadow behind it so if you see right now it's like dark and I change elevation to zero it becomes lighter I'd like to keep it lighter another problem we have here that all the text is like right near to the borders I take the column and I give padding to that column like that one uh, that's not the best idea to do so in de depending on the design you have of course and so on so many things so all right let's stay with that button here uh, just change the text of the button to pick up my bags all right next what we have here carousel awaiting five minutes um i think we don't need that at the moment all right so let's see what we have okay uh right now i want my car to be like at the back side like uh not at the back i mean at the end of the screen how can i do it i can just make the expansion I choose the card and at the right side we have expansion click here and vertical alignment I change it to one and horizontal zero uh -huh. okay this is not working right now so I'm gonna bring it back another way I take a column and I can use space between but you see what's happening here everything is like space between the way we can change it we can take a row right click on the row click on wrap widget and wrap it with a column right and take each text and put it inside inside this column so we wait until this color becomes blue so i can drop my text inside of a column not a row where i'm pointing with my mouse and one more time done so we take a column and at the right side we have cross axis alignment look what's happening when i will start changing it so i want it to be to be at the left side cool so right now we have everything nicely set it up all right so if we show the device display device click on the display device we see that we have like white space here we want to get get rid of it what we do we click on home page and at the right side we have safe area so if we turn off the safe area see the white space is gone and we can take the card and give a padding to this card like 30 30 is fine and it's done and let's play with blur a little bit so sigma let's see if it's gonna be six and sigma y also six now it's like i think it's perfect let's delete this part okay we deleted the app bar right and we need to give more space at the top same we take the row okay or column this column and give padding like 50 done so i like it do you like it uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment below and if you're on you're watching it on youtube you just subscribe me if you're watching it in my course section this is like a free lesson for everyone the rest of the lessons i'm gonna make it more on the ui and ux because this is what people like in the beginning uh, i'm doing it because i had some people texting me saying hey man like we want more ux ui so that's what i'm doing right now i'm trying to make more lessons for ux ui and those people who are watching it on youtube please subscribe me like me comment it and you can join the course if you have any problems with the payment just uh, message me i'm gonna help you out uh, with the payment all right see you soon guys bye bye